In 1308, the Mallorcan poet and philosopher Ramon Lerull published his Ars Generalis Ultima, the highest general art. In this book, he expounds his technique for creating new knowledge from combinations of concepts, which would later be known as combinatorial art. By 2023, artificial intelligence sprung from the grain of Lul's ideas and evolved by hundreds of dreamers will become a global scale game changer. Every year, inventors, researchers and philosophers create and implement solutions that push the limits of what is possible. And a fair number of these numerous discoveries and innovations are truly breathtaking. Perhaps because they are increasingly hard to understand well, at least to me. So, what amazing things has humanity come up with over the past decade? And how will these inventions help change our lives for the better? My name is Gregor Razumovsky, and today I will tell you a little bit more about the most fantastic things that have appeared on our planet in recent years. Sweden invented the water Tesla. And when you live in Stockholm, a city consisting of 14 islands connected by 57 bridges, you definitely will develop a special interest in boats. The fleet of pleasure vessels in Swedish Stockholm is actually an armada comprising 756,000 boats, which is a world record in terms of per capita. Now that sounds romantic, but in practice, they cause serious problems. Vibration from high-speed boats damages the seafloor and engine noise disturbs marine fauna. Additionally, boat exhaust pollutes the air, generating 25% of the regional CO2 emissions. And this is what will have prompted the owner of the conventional motor boat Gustav Hasselt Koch to revolutionize the concept. Boats and wings have become a sensation, totally electric with zero carbon emissions. And to do this, Hasselt Koch turned to a century old technology, the hydrofoil ferry, as we have been using them crossing the channel for many decades. In their adapted reincarnation, hydrofoils have wing like attachments to the bottom of an ultralight carbon fiber case. As the vessel picks up speed, these wings lift it out of the water, reducing friction and vibration. You go faster, you charge the battery, and with an added bonus, the complete absence of seasickness. You have the feeling of flying, Hasselcock advertises his invention. But why fly like an eagle if you can glide like a gull? Flying boats production startup has attracted some 32 million euros in investment and plans to become Stockholm's coolest public transport, delivering passengers twice as fast and absolutely eco-friendly. In the future, there are also ambitious plans to remove the load from land transport in the city, reduce traffic jams and air pollution from the cars. Speaking of which, is there a reason why this principle should not be adaptable to the ground? However, so far, not all passengers can afford such public transport. The retail price of the Candela C8 boat is up to 400,000 euro. So far, the Swedish producer has already received about 150 orders for manufacturing. And the price is bound to sink as orders rise. In 1954, the British engineer Ari Patlom noticed an interesting thing, which will later be called blue energy. If salt and fresh water solutions are separated with a thin, semi-permeable membrane, water will naturally move from the less salty side to the more salty side. The flow of water through the membrane creates pressure on one side which can be used to power turbines and generate 
electricity. So the concept of so-called blue energy or osmosis energy appeared. Against the background of global warming, overthinking regarding decarbonization and fear of gas blackmail, which shocked many, blue energy has all chances to become a new trend. Well, indeed, we live on a planet that is 70% water. Well, it sounds sexy, doesn't it? The French Climate Technology Center Switch Energy decided that the blue energy can become the new green, and it managed to convince investors. Now the producers have 6 million euros for developing a system for generating electricity from salt water suitable for everyday use. Every year, almost 30,000 terawatts per hour of osmotic energy are being released from deltas and river mouths around the planet. That is more than the global demand for electricity. It looks like this technology could really solve humanity's need for energy. Well, there's just still a small thing left to master and scale the production. In 2022, a special issue of the Time magazine about the most amazing inventions of humanity placed a bionic hand on the cover. This development by Ukrainian startup Esper Bionics was acknowledged as one of the greatest inventions of all times by the editors of the journal. Building on the foundations of advances in artificial intelligence and digital signal processing, the Esper Bionics prosthetic arm is the first AI-based robotic prosthetic working on cloud technologies that can learn and become smarter over time. The prosthetic has 24 sensors that record and analyze brain impulses and muscle activity. Artificial intelligence processes data and the interface enables the brain to exchange information with the device. Machine learning on the Esper platform allows the hand to learn and act more intuitively over time. Dmetro Hasda, CEO and co-founder of Esper Bionics, is also a medical doctor, engineer and visionary. He believes that the prosthetic market is ready for rapid development and right now the foundation is being laid for the bionic future of humanity. The most important technology developed in the next 30 years will be electronics inside the human body, says the Ukrainian innovator. It is worth recalling it was Ukrainian surgeons who for the first time fitted a bionic prosthetic of Ukrainian production to a paratrooper who lost an arm and a leg during the Russian war of aggression against Ukraine. CRISPR is a true star of medical innovation. The so-called gene editor, a technology that allows you to format human DNA at your own discretion. For example, remove broken genes and add improved ones. Sounds a bit like playing God, taking over the evolution, doesn't it? CRISPR allows you to make changes to the DNA strands and can potentially rid humanity of genetic diseases and slow down aging or even stop it entirely. The Professor of Molecular Biology, Jennifer Dunda, of the University of California, observed how bacteria protect themselves from viral infections. When a virus attacks, the bacterium analyzes its DNA strand and creates a double, a copy of a particle of the genetic sequence of this virus. The double is imperceptibly armed with a knife, the CAS9 protein, and gets attached to the virus DNA. The protein helps cut out the necessary part of the DNA. At the same time, the double takes its place and neutralizes the virus from the inside. Professor Dunda, along with her colleague Emmanuel Charpentier, uh, figured out how to use the same process to insert or remove sequences in human DNA. 
This made them two of the most famous scientists of our time, earning them the Nobel Prize. Geneticists around the world are holding the magic lamp of Aladdin in their hands. And the genie can, can get out of it, can radically change the human species. But for the better, as we all hope and um, most of us will trust. In September 2021, the first human-assisted testing of the system was conducted. As a result, the blind participant managed to regain his sight. For the first time in many years, one of the patients was able to distinguish certain colors. Before the advent of CRISP in 2012, there were ways to edit the genomes of some plants and animals, but it took years and invariably cost hundreds of thousands or probably millions of euros. CRISP has made the technology simple and cheap. It is likely that very soon the genes of many plants and animals will be improved using CRISP. Recently, Japan approved tomatoes for human consumption. It had been modified by CRISP. The improved tomatoes now contain several times more aminobutyric acid, which helps reduce blood pressure, hypertension, and supports relaxation. CRISP CAS9 technology, or molecular scissors, can both save a person from serious diseases and be aimed at creating designer children, in the genome of which, at the request of parents, changes are made. Attempts to create children with perfect genes in China have been denounced as premature and unethical. However, there are still those who believe that technology could benefit children in the future. And CRISP is also used for many other purposes, from fingerprinting and recording what's going on inside cells, to controlling evolution and creating gene storage. Analysts estimate that the CRISP market exceeded 900 million euros in 2021. And the next 10 years, it will grow by 24 to 29% annually. Despite the fact that the cost of the genome editing procedure will steadily decrease. Finding information about the right plane on flight boards at major airports often turns into gigantic stress. The big screen simultaneously displays data on dozens of flights or more, information is updated frequently and flight records change positions. A way to solve this problem was developed at the airport of Detroit. Here, the more than 23 million yearly passengers search for information about their flight. And now, each of them has the opportunity to see only their own flight on the public flight board. All thanks to technology that can display information intended for a particular traveler on the board. To use the new product, you need to go to a special viewing area and scan your boarding pass through the terminal or app, and hundreds of flickering lines on the general flight board will disappear. And instead, information that is important to that particular passenger will appear. Several hundred people can look at the same screen and see different personalized information at the same time. The secret is particle emission. Each pixel of the information board can distribute light rays in 18,000 different directions. And this is quite enough to create an exclusive image for each individual passenger. The effort of the future technology first debuted at CES in 2020 and was immediately acclaimed as being revolutionary. So far, the beta version of the parallel reality displays only works for Delta passengers, but the developers plan to scale up the variation. Information boards with personal contact are planned to be installed in stadiums, shopping and entertainment centers. This is the power of reason. Always remember that our true power lies in rational thought and a clear mind. 
when we're threatened with the daily flow of disinformation and the manipulation of news. So please do the reasonable thing and start following our project right now.